So the Cowboys are finally making some move. And this is Mike Zim trying to orchestrate and get his staff together. They get a defensive line guy. They get a defensive run game coordinator. And then on top of that, they get an assistant defensive line guy that's very familiar with the Cowboys. And his name is Greg Ellis. Now, Greg Ellis is your third all-time sack leader for the Cowboys. And I think that he will bring in a great level of tenacity, approach to the game. And I said this before. Man, if you really look at the numbers, Greg Ellis was far better than what we've seen out of Demarcus Lawrence, right? So he's third all time in sacks, and I think that he will bring in tenacity, familiarity for the game, and he will help out this particular team as it relates to this defensive run fit that we need to stop. Also, they they hired Paul Gunter. Uh, he's a defensive run game coordinator. I love the position name, right? So he he's a a, a former defensive coordinator that you know defense coordinates some stuff with the Raiders or what have you had a short stay with them and uh, also he worked hand in hand with Mike Zim so Mike Zim is formulating his team and then the defensive line coach to fill in that voided area from uh, Aiden Durde is Jeff uh, Zagonia, I think that's how you say that man's name, charged it to my head, not my heart. But all three of these guys are uh, Mike Zim guys that he can pour upon his philosophy, principles, and scheme, and everything should work its way out. Now, of course, we would love Steve Wilkes for his namesake, but we don't know whether or not these guys have uh, relations, right? So it's about formulating your team and getting things rocking and rolling. So I'm quite sure if anybody's sweating right now is Scott McCurley because Scott McCurley is the linebackers coach for this team slash run game coordinator, right? So this is a situation now that you can look back, sit back at and say, okay, some pieces are being moved in the right way, right? And this is what we got to do. The off season is long. And I'm telling you guys again, the off season is extremely long. So allow these guys to at least get comfortable in Dallas first, right? And allow Mike Zim to start preparing the menu. It's not time to cook yet. He just preparing the menu, getting things together, making sure that everything is is ready to go before cooking, right? So sometimes you got to clean out the old stuff and get ready to prepare for the kitchen. And that's what Mike Zim is going to do. I'm getting a lot of people maybe thinking that Mike Zim is going to come in and slowly and, and be all soft and cute and cuddly. No, 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 no. He's coming in to move some furniture around, right? And to bring in technique, Look at the people that he's bringing in. Well, hey, you might like Aiden Durde to a degree, but he never played at the level of Greg Ellis. And I know Greg Ellis will always be matched up with Randy Moss because we passed up on him. But go back and listen to what I said. Greg Ellis, the third all-time sack leader for the Dallas Cowboys. And now he's coaching. So that's going to raise up everybody else level and skill set and play ability, right? So those are things that I want you guys to look at. And as much as you may like Aiden Durde, but he ain't close to what a Greg Ellis can be able to exhibit, right? So I'm just saying this in so many terms, right? And this will be a great chance and an opportunity for the Cowboys to get things going in the right direction. I absolutely like this. And then on the flip side, I do like the fact that Jeff, yeah, he was in-house with the Washington team. He coached up those Bama boys and those upfront guys. So if there's any French things that's happening, right, he will know anything and everything about the Washington team. And keep this in mind, um, we wasn't worried about Washington. You know, we've been sweeping those boys for a long time. And then the year before last, the only time they beat us is because we arresting our starters. So we ain't really worried about Washington and what all what they are doing over there in their backyard with Dan Quinn, the sabotage man. All we got to do is stay focused. We are who we are. Right. And we just can elevate our game by making sure that the people in house. 1000% believe in the principles and philosophy and scheme that we are doing over here. So I, I like 
pretty much the three hires. I do like Paul Gunter got the defensive coordinator position on his resume, although he might have didn't do a great job there, but at least he knows what it takes to be a defensive coordinator, right? And he knows what it takes to be on the biggest and the brightest of the stage. And now his role is very diminished. So now he can sit back and learn and listen and keep this in mind. The, the offseason move that really count the most, believe it or not, is Al Harris. Al Harris, with his ability to get the turnovers to make sure that these DBs are getting their head around to the ball counts and pays a lot of dividends that most of the people kind of overlooked. Think about it. Al Harris was here before Dan Quinn, right? Before Joe Witt Jr. He came in 2020. So you got Al Harris, you got Greg Ellis, you got Paul Gunter, you got Jeff Zagania. You know, I think that's how you say that man's name. Hey, this team is formulating pretty well. And then you got Mike Zim. And when he goes around giving the marching orders, man, everybody's going to perk up. And slowly, for surely, you're getting rid of some of that soft stuff, some of that friendly stuff. And if you are a player and you're willing to check out before it starts, you better hurry up because these guys are going to be on the same page from a defensive philosophy. I remember, I remember about two, three years ago when we was out there at Oxnard, Al Harris was yelling and calling out Doug Nussmeyer and Kellen Moore. He was yelling them out, saying, hey, look at my boys. Look what they're going to do. Line them up, lace them up. So even Al Harris got a lot of bite to him. So all of this will work out for the good. Cowboy Nation, post me your thoughts, post me your concerns down below. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys. Let's get it, Mike Zim. Hey, Zim, don't hold up now. Don't pull up on these boys. Don't be soft on them. You, I know Jerry Jones want this team to look a certain way in uh, Stephen Jones. But no, 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 no. Keep adding your reinforcements. I want this training camp to be defense versus offense. And I want the defense to really beat up this offense a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And I want the offense to match that tenacity and that temperament. It can happen just like this. Just like this. It can happen. DC for life, not for sure. Let's get it. Salute. Peace.